The solar minimum has hit mainstream news. What struck me as odd was they did not acknowledge it was a grand solar minimum. They weren't too explicit about it. And if this was a regular, normal solar minimum, they wouldn't be telling you about it. This is because all grand solar minimums in history have resulted in catastrophe, massive famine due to unpredictable growing seasons. I've covered this several times over the past year, and the videos were much suppressed. So there's an 11 year cycle of solar activity. Every 11 years, the solar activity either peaks or minimizes. So it looks like a bunch of hills on a graph and one hill or one ditch is 22 years. This solar activity is what actually determines our climate through different types of magnetic fields. And these magnetic, electric, radio wave fields, it's pretty much invisible energy uh, that you can feel, uh, certain animals can sense, uh, but humans are a little bit out of touch with our natural selves, so we aren't as aware of it. Low solar activity doesn't necessarily mean low temperature. Same that high solar activity doesn't mean high temperature. The lower the solar activity, the more volatile and unpredictable the climate is. And it does tend to be colder, although that by no means should be the focus. If it was just colder, you know, we could adjust growing seasons and make sure to grow things in certain parts of the world, but the risks for catastrophic climate events which cause crop loss is exponential. The maximums and minimums in solar activity vary greatly as you can see by these sunspot observations. For the most part, throughout the past few hundred years, we've been graced with a consistent climate, but you have periods like the Maunder Minimum from 1645 to 1715, also referred to as a mini ice age, where one third of the human population was eradicated. is there are allegedly natural solar cycles that dictate our climate and as much as I would like to say this will cause food shortages the current food shortages are being created solely by our government our leaders are intentionally moving to starve us out by shutting down meat processing plants and plowing produce back into the ground and then they're gonna tell you about this is this a distraction for what the government is doing I believe it is but let's take a look at some of these articles that bombarded uh, my search feed last night. What the solar minimum really means for life on Earth. You might have read some breathless reports recently about how the sun's activity has been dimming towards a solar minimum and how this could even cause problems like droughts or famine on Earth. But there's no need to panic. The sun is just fine and it's not about to kick off a new ice age. Here's what you need to know about a solar minimum. Yup, there's no need to panic. Us elites are building bunkers in New Zealand, but there's no need to panic. We're using energy weapons to start fires and sacrifice the continent of Australia, but there's no need to panic. We're spraying metals in the air to alter the climate, but, but there's no need to panic. Even if a grand solar minimum were to last a century, global temperatures would continue to warm, NASA says, because more factors than just variations in the sun's output change global temperatures on Earth. The most dominant of those today being the warming coming from human-induced greenhouse gas emissions. 
NASA emphasizes that global warming caused by greenhouse gas emissions from the burning of fossil fuels is six times greater than any cooling which could be expected due to a grand solar minimum. So you should be worried about the Earth. Not because the sun is going to kick off a new ice age, but rather because of the devastating impact of climate change. <laughs> Guys, th this is hilarious. They're doubling down on the man-made climate change nonsense, and the world is going to turn into an ice cube. You know, it's funny that chemtrails are a conspiracy, but geoengineering is not. It's a legitimate thing. I mean, they can literally spray metals and chemicals in the air to alter climate as well as poison us at the same time. I honestly would not be surprised if they could control all of the weather on this earth at the same time completely. The sun has entered a lockdown period, which could cause freezing weather, famine. Very odd choice of words there, right? Lockdown, are they telling us we are locked down because of this? So this New York Post article is very brief and fear-mongering. They spoke about how this is one of the lowest sunspot counts of the past century, that it could be a repeat of the Dalton minimum, leading to brutal cold, crop loss, famine, as well as volcanic activity. But then we have this article which is saying pretty much the opposite. The solar minimum, a reasonable explanation based on scientific evidence, not hysteria. I'm a bit confused. Why are all of these articles starting with telling people not to panic when they don't even know what the solar minimum is? Makes you wonder if these elite people can hold back their inner thoughts and concerns about their own well-being, or they want to create hysteria and they want you to worry about it. You know, who brings up something and you don't even know what it is and they're already telling you what to think about it? Little bit fishy, isn't it? The scientists in this article assured that the sun was acting normal and there is far more solar activity than there was in the Dalton minimum. And we talked about the Maunder minimum earlier, which was really, really bad, where one third of the population died. I don't know the specifics of the Dalton minimum, but it was bad as well, just not as bad. So it's safe to say, you know, we have two fairly differing opinions in these articles. This is where that symbol of deception comes up, the two serpents on the cane. And this means that these elite lunatics are controlling both sides of the argument. An example of this very relevant to my channel that I've brought up many times is the vegans versus the carnivores. And I'm kind of in the middle of it calling them both out for being paid, special interest funded people. Uh, but that's how this world has always been controlled. You have one side of the agenda and you have the controlled opposition, which is appearing to be the good guys who are trying to gather people that are opposed to the mainstream. And then you have people like myself who were the actual opposition who want to break apart from these people. You know, so what does all of this solar minimum nonsense mean to us? I mean, Ice Age Farmer has been covering this, you know, for a while. And I don't know, that guy is a little bit out there to me. I don't know what his motives are because right now it appears that all of the food shortages and everything has been controlled by the government. Everything has been orchestrated. So I believe at this point in time that this is simply a cover up for the government doing these things. They have to come up with something for everything. They come up with a fake illness when they put up these towers and, and start giving people radiation poisoning. Uh, they're going to come up with this stuff too. Oh, the reason there's no food is because there's low solar activity, not because we killed, you know, 10 million cattle last year because we shut down meat processing plants, not because we plowed all those fruits and vegetables into the ground uh, because we broke down the supply chain. So everything is controlled. Everything that is happening to you 
whether it's negative or positive, is likely being controlled by these people, and we have to take that power out of their hands, go on our own, and uh, you know create a sustainable food source, a sustainable community. And that's what I'm working towards by the end of this year. I'm, I'm trying to save up some money for a property uh, to get things going so that I can provide you guys you know, with high quality animal foods, high quality plant foods even, uh, without having any other factors at play here. Uh, you know, all of my businesses, everything I've been working towards has been, you know, towards that intermediate goal. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. So, uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, we're going to do a live stream on Frank Tufano later. I don't know if I'm going to do a workout. I haven't decided yet what I'm doing tomorrow. But, uh, you know, I'll link the channel down below and uh, you can join me later. Thanks again for joining me, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.